my god guys I'm looking online for like if there's anything I missed and it's horrible the recommendations they're giving they're like bind your breasts wear a sports bra wear loose fitting clothes and I'm like ew that's like the opposite of what I would ever do Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about the boobies. No, really, the whole video is going to be talking about boobs. Or more precisely, how to make giant boobs look smaller. A lot of you don't seem to know this about me, but when you do see me in certain pieces that I wear, when I wear tighter clothes or when I wear like very like flashy boobalicious tops, which I don't wear often, but when I do, I always get comments. People are like, wait, what? You have huge boobs. I do. So I wear a 32E, which is really big. I am five foot two. I weigh about 118 pounds. So that is a lot of boobage for a very small human. I know that like wanting to reduce how big your boobs look is not something most people are interested in, but for the very few of you out there who are, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I have always wanted to be like a 32B. I feel like a 32B is the perfect size, perky, small, good boobage, cleavage if you want, none if you don't want. But the cards of a big busted Italian mama, my mom, was passed down to me and I inherited her large chest. Now throughout the years I have complained, I have whined, I have bitched, I have cursed these boobies. And with age I've learned to dress my body to a point that they don't, it's not something that is a factor for me anymore. I personally think that large breasts on me make me look a lot heavier than I am. They, but they do give me that curvy hourglass effect and make my waist look teeny tiny, which is a plus side. So, without my personal opinion on my boobs, let's get started in this video. Okay, so my first tip is the bra you are wearing. I used to wear the wrong bras. I used to wear t-shirt bras, that like soft cup bra, thinking those were minimizers. And I know when you Google online, like I actually looked online to see if there were any tips. I'm looking down because my computer's there. I actually looked online to see if any tips would be something that I should mention that I had forgotten. And I feel like I do basically everything that is anti what online is telling you to do to minimize. So I stopped looking and I'm just going with my tips and tricks. For bras, that is my number one key to making my bust look smaller than it is. I brought two bras down with me to show you guys my day-to-day -day vibe and what it is that I wear in terms of a bra. I wear lacy bras like this. I can't wear t-shirt bras and stuff like that and I play up the lace. All of my bras are lacy like this. This is a bra I would wear like on a day-to-day it has no extra padding, but it does give a good lift. But most importantly, and I'm gonna go real close to my boobies right now, the cleavage is not like this. They're lifted, but they are pulled apart, so you don't get that crack. See like this? My boobies, they don't touch. They are lifted, and they are really in place, but by keeping them apart, that line in the middle, to me, is a dead giveaway of like an ill-fitting bra and signs you need to change that bra, throw it out, or unless you're looking for that push together look. But for me, that is the biggest show of how you're gonna reduce the size of your boobage. Um, I do have push-up bras because there are times where I do want to flaunt my girls. For push-up, I'm very, very, very particular on my cleavage. I'm gonna insert some pictures of cleavage that I like. I like lifted boobs like this, but again, that gap in the middle, to me, is the best way to minimize your boobs. My favorite bras for that, let me just show you here, they're called like a half cup balcony, and the strap is like literally on the side, like it's like here, and the bra on top is nice and flat. So the cleavage you get with this is like, it looks like you got an expensive boob job. Another big trick of mine is the neckline that you wear. As you guys can see from this top, this is a top that I wear day to day, I am a huge lover of a v-neck. I love showing my, ch I like my collarbone, like I like this whole vibe. This is a very normal shape that I would wear, but I have a trick to make it work for our shape. The top itself, when I just put it on, it's like a faux wrap. It will slip like this throughout the day, which I honestly think is inappropriate for day to day. So I have a trick and I do this with every single one of my wrap or sweetheart tops because I do find wraps and sweethearts are super, super, super flattering on our shape. Take a little safety pin like this, the black ones with the little 
like ball at the end. These come with like a lot of pieces of clothing and I pin two pieces where the points touch but I bring it up a little bit and I pin them together and I then take that pin and I run it through the front part of my bra. Et voila! You're wearing the deep V but it's controlled and because it's actually pinned to your bra, you don't need to worry all day about like adjusting and fixing your bra and all that jam. You're literally pinned into your bra. Also because it's pinned to your bra, it does a dip here in the middle which is incredibly flattering instead of that like shelf vibe that we sometimes get when you have such large breasts. So this little dip here, I don't know if you guys can spot on the camera, see right here? It defines and makes them look so much smaller than they are in real life. Another neckline that is super flattering is a square neckline. I'll insert a few pictures of what they look like on me. Such a flattering shape. They go basically, it's basically this on the sides, so you see a lot of the collarbone, but instead of dipping here as a sweetheart, it goes down a little bit further and just goes like this. Ladies, I know most people will say not to wear that shape if you're busty, Trust me, trust me, wear that shape. Every time I wear that, you look like you've lost 20 pounds of boobage instantly. Like instantly, it's a magic trick and it's amazing. Another thing which I feel is obvious, tuck your tops in. Half tuck, tuck. you cannot have a flowy top just sticking out when you're large busted. You will instantaneously look like you are 40 pounds heavier. I used to be the queen of moo-moos. I used to wear moo-moos all day long. Like literally, if somebody would see a short moo-moo, they'd be like, hey, it's a maldress. And I have since changed that completely. I cinch everything in at the waist. I like high-waisted jeans and I like to tuck my tops in my high-waisted jeans. I know um, I've, been, I've been made fun of a little bit throughout quarantine that I've been wearing jeans every day, but it's just to me that is where, that's what flatters my shape the most, is a nice pair of high-waisted jeans tuck everything in. Now high-waisted jeans doesn't mean you need to go with a Levi's non-stretch like I do wear in like the ribcage denim. These are by Yoga Jeans and they do the same effect but they literally feel like you're wearing yoga pants but because you're so tucked in your boobage instantaneously looks like way lower. So you get that curvy vibe that we all want and they're super comfortable like you literally feel like you're wearing leggings with these jeans. Ooh. Another thing, I have found that if you wear shirts, like a white shirt, instead of wearing a fitted white shirt that you're gonna end up getting the gaps between the buttons at the chest, for it to fit at the waist, it's always too tight on top. So what I end up doing is I just buy oversized shirts, that way you don't have to worry, it'll close no matter what. Leave it low cut, but pin it to your bra. Do the same pin that I just showed you guys, pin it to your bra and kind of have that slouch vibe, tuck into your pants or your skirt, whatever you want to do, even if it's just a half tuck, that shape, that silhouette is going to be so much classier than trying to wear something fitted, when to be honest, it, it's not meant for our shape. Unless you buy a bigger shirt, what I would have to do if I wanted to wear a fitted shirt is buy like a size 8 or 10 and have it tailored down to be smaller at the waist but I ain't got time for that. To be honest, oversized just looks chicer. Nice white shirt, rolled sleeves. It's a good look. Trust me, try it. You will not regret it. Even if you just have like your husband's shirt, test it out with your husband's shirt. Trust me, you will love me forever for this. For bathing suits, I actually had a few people ask me questions about what I do with bathing suits if I have a shape that I prefer. I'm actually all for the boobies at the beach. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. I flaunt them. I am... I like them in a bathing suit. I'm like, man, this is me. This is what I look like. I rock it. So for bathing suits, I'm just like, pff, put them out there. Loud and proud, tatas in the air. The most important thing that I want to get out of this video is I don't want anybody to be ashamed of their boobs. I don't want anybody to feel like they have to hide them. We're gorgeous women. We are curvy. We might have breastfed. We might have a bit of sag. We might have some stretch marks, but I think we should all be proud of what we have and I think we should rock what we have. So I don't think we should be hiding anything and I think loud and proud, big booby girls, we got this. 
We just need to learn how to dress it so that we don't look like we're like 25 pounds heavier than we actually are. All right guys, those are my tips and tricks. I hope this was really helpful to you guys. Um, these are basically what I use to minimize my boobies. Make sure to leave me any questions down below if you might have any. I don't have anything else to say except I love you so, 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 so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.